Hi, it's Pavel with another homework. Homework uh, from chapter 5, exercise 23. Find the largest, two largest numbers from uh, 10 values that are entered. Now, uh, this is going to be a little <laughs> kind of not a very efficient way of doing things. I will try to stick to uh, the fact that this is a homework from a book. Uh, uh, C Sharp 2012, How to Program, Chapter 5. In other words, I will try to use only things that you already learned. Because normally, I would use uh, different ways of doing these. Uh, I would use uh, a list, and then I would sort it, and I would simply output the last <laughs> two numbers, and that those would be the two largest numbers. Now, you didn't do any, anything with lists yet, uh, so uh, let's do it in a in a way that you uh, you learned so far by the chapter five. All right. So uh, in order to find two uh, largest numbers, we need to store them somewhere. So it will be the largest num one. I'll initialize it to zero. It is your largest largest two. That will be zero as well. Now um, the user will enter a number, so we have to store that, and we need a counter for the loop. All right. So these four will do. We can start our loop for. Actually, not. For counter equals zero, <coughs> counter is less than ten. We're doing up to ten. Counter plus plus. We're doing ten of values because that's what the assignment says. Find two largest value uh, values of the ten values entered. So now we have to actually let the user enter those values. So console that the right line. Please enter an integer, and we will store the integer in our number variable. But before we do it, we have to, of course, convert the string to integer. Integer 32, whatever the user entered, we will we will read and uh, assign it to the variable number, which is an integer. Now, I will comment this. Um, we need to assign the initial value to the to the value of the largest, the first number. So that's going to be assigned the first number entered to largest one. And in the first number that's going to be entered will be counter zero. That's the first iteration of the loop. So uh, if counter equals zero, then largest one equals counter. Actually, not counter, the number, the number the user entered. So this will be true only once, at the very first iteration of the loop. And now we need to uh, do some comparison, compare this number with the other largest numbers, that, or the other numbers that were entered, and determine which one is larger. So actually we, we need to, <laughs> I'm sorry, we need two numbers. So. Uh, if counter equals zero, then largest equals the number, and else if counter equals one, which is the second iteration, then largest two will equals the number. No, that cannot be either, because uh, what if this one's already bigger than larger? Uh, 
larger than uh, the first number entered. So else if counter equals zero, we need to see first if this one's actually larger. So if number is greater than largest one, which was already entered before, then uh, largest two will equal the number. Correct? Yes. Uh, thingy. Now if it's not, if the number is not larger, if the second number entered is smaller or equal to the first number that was entered, then we will simply initialize the largest two to uh, largest one and largest one will be the number. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Else, if this is not the first or the second iteration, then we, we will have to do some swapping. So, if a number is greater than largest one and number is greater than largest two, then we will assign the largest two to the number. And if, yes, if a uh, number is greater than largest one and number is smaller than largest two, in that case, the largest one will equal the number. Okay, I want largest two be the biggest number, and largest one be the if be the second largest number. All right. Now we will output the. Uh, where's the loop in end? After the loop checks all the values, we will output the. Console dot right line two largest numbers are the first number and second number and it will be largest one and largest two and console dot read line. All right, well, let me first see if it works. I'll try to explain my thinking behind it. All right, so let's start with 50, 60, 70, 80, and then 40, 30, 10, and 20, and uh, I don't know, 5, and 55. No, this is not correct. 55 and 80. Now, 80 is correct, that's the highest one, but 55 is not. So, let me think again. So, if this is 0, then the largest one equals the number. Right? And, uh, hmm. Now, if it's counter equals one, if it's the, we can assign the second one, the second number, or the second largest number. So if this one's greater than largest one, then largest two equals number, else largest two equals largest ones, largest ones equals number. We'll switch them. 
else if this is not zero and if this is not one. So if number is greater than largest one and number is greater than largest two, number two equals the number. And if number is greater than largest one and number is smaller than largest two, and largest one equals the number. Hmm. Obviously, it's not working. All right. Now, let me pause it. I'll think about it. And uh, I'll come back with a solution. All right. Uh, I figured out what's the problem. Uh, but let me first show you uh, how the loop actually goes right now. This is uh, not correct, and I'll show you why. So, let's enter the first number. Let's do 100. So, counter equals zero, assigns the first uh, number, largest one, and that's it. It skips everything else. Now, let's assign, uh, I don't know, 90. This is counter equals one. This is the second iteration. So 90 is not greater than 100. Largest is 100 and number is 90. So it will go and assign largest two equals largest one and largest one equals the number. So largest two now equals 100 and largest one equals 90. Again, I want largest two to hold the highest number and largest one to hold the second highest number. And now it will skip everything else. And now for the other, for the rest of the loop, this is what's happening. Let's say I enter uh, 80. So this is lower than the other two. So it skips it, uh, because counter is now equal uh, two. So it skips this if statement completely because it's not zero and it's not one. So uh, again, the number entered is 80. The largest one holds number 90, the largest two holds 100. So 80 is less than both of them. So it goes over here and it assigns nothing because number, it assigns nothing because number is not, uh, not greater than largest one. Largest one was 90. 80 is less than 90, so it skips these, it checks them, but does not do anything because uh, neither of these conditions is true. But now let's see what happens if I enter a number that is higher. So again, right now the two highest numbers are 190. So let's just add 110, which is the highest number. So it skips that and it goes over here. Now it's a lot, number 110 is larger than 90 and 110 is larger than 100. So this is true. So it goes through it and it assigns larger to the new number, which is 110, which is correct. But what it doesn't do, it doesn't do anything with the largest one. Largest one stays 90, which is wrong, because if you look at the numbers that we entered so far, we entered 100, 90, 80, and 110. And right now, if you check our largest one, our largest one holds, uh, let me see, let's uh, Let's enter another one, the lowest one from all of them. Um, just so you can see that the largest one now holds 90, but it should hold 100, because that's the second largest number. Largest two holds 110, which is the largest number so far entered. That's correct. But these uh, uh, largest, the second largest number stayed uh, the same, even though it should have been 
100, they should be swapped. So what needs to be done is very simple. Over here, I have to do largest 1 equals largest 2. Again, largest 2 is not the largest number anymore. This is the new number entered is larger than largest 1, and it's greater than largest 2. So largest 1 now holds the value that was held by largest 2, which is now the second highest number, and largest 2 will now hold the new number, which is the highest number. Let's do it again. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to debug it anymore. I just want to show you that it works. So again, let's say that 40, and twenty. And now the largest numbers are hundred and hundred and ten. The first number enters is hundred and hundred and ten. Let's do a little more mix up. 50, 60, 7, 40, I don't know, 80, and uh, 30, 90, 100, 20, and 40, or 60, or whatever, you know. Again, if you look at it, the largest numbers, the first, second larger number is 90, and the largest number is 100. So now it works. So let's go through it again, <laughs> and this is a little complicated. Now we assign two uh, variables, largest one and largest two, and a counter, and the number that will be entered by the user. You go through the loop 10 times, the user enters the number. The first time the loop iterates, we will assign that number to the largest one variable, simply to initialize it. Now, if it goes, then it skips everything else. Uh, it goes to the second inter iteration, so the counter equals 1. Now we check if the new number is larger than largest 1, which was entered the first time around. If it is, then largest 2 will, equals, will equal the number. And if it isn't greater than the largest 2, will equal the largest one, and largest one will equal the number. Again, I want this to hold the highest number. That's why I assign it the largest one. I, I swapped them. It's not necessary. It could be the other way around, but this is how I decided to do it. So again, if the number entered is greater, this is uh, remember, this is the second iteration of the loop. And if the number entered is greater than largest one, then we will simply assign the largest two I mean the number to largest two variable and we will leave largest one as is because that will be automatically by default the second largest number however if the number is less than the largest one then in other words largest one is the greatest number from those two then we will switch switch them i will i want the largest two to hold the greatest number and largest one to hold the second greatest number and then iterations 3 through 10, the loop goes through here. It will check if the number is greater than largest 1 and largest 2. In other words, it's, greater, it's the highest number so far entered. If it is, then I will move largest 2 to largest 1, because it's going to be the second largest number now, because the new and newly entered number is the largest number, and that will be assigned to variable largest two. I will also check if number if this is not true, it could be actually else if statement, but both of these cannot be true. If this is true that this one will be skipped and vice versa. Actually let's make it else if because the numbers changed already here, so this could be actually true. So this is this is a better practice. Now, if the number enter is greater than largest one, but smaller than largest two, then I will leave largest two untouched, and I will simply the second largest number will now equal the number. 
And if it's neither of these, then I don't do anything with it. Those that number is lower than both of them. We don't we don't care for those. Again, let me run it once more once more. 60, 70, 60, 90, 85, 95, 10, 20, 60. So now you have 90 and 95, which is true. So uh, this is a little confusing, and I, like I said before, this is not the ideal way. But since this is a homework from a chapter 5, I assume you are not experienced, uh, you don't know about lists and all that stuff, or arrays. It would be much easier to do with a list, because you could simply enter all those numbers into a list, sort the list, and the last two numbers in the list would be the greatest one. So that would be fairly simple. This way, we have to kind of check each value against what we already have stored. All right, Whew, that was uh, <laughs> that was something I tell you. Anyway, I hope it helped you uh, at least a little bit. It's confusing, I understand, but I hope that you know you can grasp it. Uh, maybe you can type it yourself, do a little debugging. See it step by step. See how it, uh, those values are being swapped, and um, you know, you know. Let me let me do this, just so you you understand what's going on in each part of the code. I will I will comment it. So assign the uh, second number, second number to largest two, if it is greater than larger one. Again, this is uh, this belongs to, uh, to else if. Now if it is not greater, otherwise uh, just swap the numbers. So largest largest two is greater than larger one. Again, like I said, I want to keep largest two greater than largest one. I want this to be the highest number. And over here, uh, let's see, what do we do? We are replacing, so replace uh, uh, the larger of the two largest numbers which is uh, largest two again largest two is the larger of the two numbers so this, this is what it does and assign and assign value from largest two to largest one, which is the second largest number. All right, uh, anyway, over here we just uh, replace the lesser of the two largest numbers, which is largest one, with the the new number. That is, if it is greater than largest one, then we will replace it. All right. Uh, okay. Well, I hope it helps you. Like I said, uh, run it through a debugger, see it step by step, and uh, I think you will get it. All right. Take care.